Hey everybody, I'm Dave Lewick, the Trapper Guy. I'm a nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area of Florida, and today the species I'm going to be talking about is the nine-banded armadillo. Armadillos aren't historically native to Florida, and they used to be considered an introduced species. Back in the early 1900s, there were some roadside zoos that used to display them, and of course some of those got away. But over the years, armadillos have naturally migrated around the Gulf Coast into Florida, and now they are pretty much native to the entire state. Now armadillos are unique looking for our mammals because they have an armor plating, and that's a leather-like shield that has nine joints in it, which they get their name, the nine-banded armadillo, from those joints, which helped them to flex and bend and only the ears and the belly of the armadillo doesn't have that leathery type of armor. Now armadillos will only let extremely attractive people approach them. I might have made that part up. Now armadillos have very poor eyesight and not very good hearing but they have an excellent sense of smell and one of the reasons you'll see them mostly at night in neighborhoods is because of that poor eyesight. They can see movement and there's just a lot of movement in neighborhoods at daytime. If you go out in the woods, you'll sometimes see armadillos out during the day um, or a morning or afternoon, but you're almost never gonna see that except for the babies in neighborhoods. Now armadillos have their babies and down in the burrow in the springtime and they always have identical quadruplets of the same sex. Now usually they're weaned and they start coming out of the burrows in late summertime and that's when you'll see them the most during the daytime because these babies they don't really become nocturnal until later in their life because they don't really know what predators are so you'll just see four little babies that look just like their parents walking around in the yard and over time as it gets chased by dogs or maybe one of them gets taken by a predator they start learning in neighborhoods it's a little safer to come out in the nighttime. Now armadillos do have teeth but they don't have any incisors they're basically a bunch of molars in the back and that's well suited for them being primarily insectivores so what they do is they'll go along with their keen sense of smell and they will smell some uh, grubs, earthworms and different types of bugs down in the soil and they'll dig down and eat them and also their eggs. So in that respect, they're kind of beneficial, but the problem is in neighborhoods, in them getting those destructive kind of insects, they will tear up a lawn. Now armadillos are burrowing animals and they usually have several different burrows, each armadillo. And some of them will be for nesting and other ones they just want to have around in case they sense danger and they can dart down the hole to get away from that danger. And the way to tell an armadillo burrow from other animal burrows, especially the uh, gopher tortoise in this area, is armadillo burrows are going to be oval in nature and the gopher tortoise burrow is going to be quite like its profile. It's going to be flat on the bottom and it's going to be arched on the top. Now there's a lot of talk out there about armadillos and leprosy and guess what? All animals carry some sort of disease. So unless you're a professional or you know how to handle animals that are wild, uh, just don't do it and you won't have to worry about getting leprosy from armadillos. Another thing armadillos are known for is being roadkill. And the reason you see a lot more roadkill armadillos than other animals is because armadillos, when they're startled or uh, come out by a predator, they jump up in the air. And obviously that doesn't work out too well when they're underneath the car. Whereas other animals, they might just freeze and the car will go right over them. But the armadillo is going to jump right up into the undercarriage. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you'd like to see some more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell down there so you know when the new videos come out. And if you have any questions or any ideas of new videos, make sure you say something in the comment bar.